This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by PegagatorGal underscore LPS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. Enjoy! Chapter 1 It was another late night for Espresso, as the sleepy professor was dead set on perfecting yet another brilliant new feat of coffee magic. He was hyper-focused and wanted no distractions. He was filling blank spots in his chalkboard equation as his lab equipment was at work filtering and extracting to make the perfect brew. He was close to completing it. He could feel it. Just one more small adjustment, and it would be right. Espresso cookie! Madeline yelled, as he kicked open the door and flashed a dramatic, heroic pose. I've come to save you from your habit of working until dawn! The force of the door being violently swung open, knocked over one of the beakers, and spilled boiling hot caffeine onto Espresso's cape. He gasped and immediately pulled his cape out of the mess. No! 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 He exclaimed as he stared in shock and disbelief. My work! All my work! Five sleepless nights of my work ruined! Madeline went over to him. I'm sorry, Espresso. I didn't mean to- What the hell were you thinking? He snapped. Could've caused an explosion! which could have fucking killed me. Madeline looked down at the floor. Get out of my lab, you light magic idiots! He screamed, using his magic to throw a flaming coffee bean at him. Madeline ran away from the door as fast as he could, guilt building up within him. Espresso groaned in frustration. That damn cookie's pissing me off. He huffed. Now I have to start all over. Espresso started up the instant coffee machine and set it to produce the largest setting. Espresso was the type of guy who'd stay up for several days and have to be reminded to get to sleep. Or forced to sleep. You see, he had been using his magic and special brews to keep himself awake. He didn't realize it at the time, but he was experimenting with his own life. As soon as Espresso took a sip of the instant coffee, he began to feel off. His body began to shake and tremble. He coughed a bit as his chest began to feel heavy. Espresso began to panic, as he didn't know what was happening to him. He quickly grabbed his coat and ran outside. He began to make his way towards the office of Almond Cookie, the kingdom's best detective. He frantically pounded at the door. As the pain in his chest got worse, he began to feel lightheaded. Espresso felt as if he could hear time ticking by. In an instant, he realized he was having a heart attack. Elf! Someone help me! He said, as loud as he could. He looked around and realized there was no one outside at this time of night. That was until Almond finally answered the door. As soon as Almond realized the severity of the situation, the frail professor had already collapsed. Almond grabbed his pocket radio and requested immediate backup. Shit, I can't even get a break during the night, it seems. The detective sighed as he checked Espresso's pulse and breathing. He realized he wasn't breathing at all and began to perform CPR. As Almond did chest compressions, he radioed in. Requesting emergency healer squad, Professor Espresso has just had a heart attack and I need backup. Eventually, the emergency healer squad arrived on scene, along with the sheriff, Rag Cookie, Madeline being the commander of the Knights and having grown up with Espresso. It caught wind of what happened along with Latte Cookie. Maddie couldn't help but feel like it was his fault that Latte reassured him that it wasn't. Hit that subscribe button, guys! Come on!